Hey everybody, this is Chris from Chop Shop Indian Creek Plaza Caldwell. Uh, today we are demonstrating some awful good stuff. Uh, and today we're gonna be preparing a little bit of tongue, liver, and beef heart to show people at home that it's, it's not as overwhelming as you think. Um, we are utilizing McIntyre Pastures and Little Cow Farms, uh, both local farmers from Idaho. Uh, today we have a raw beef tongue which I wanted to show you. And then I have a cooked beef tongue and I'm gonna demonstrate how we peel these and use this for a much simpler application uh, to make delicious sandwiches and snacks. So you have the raw tongue. Now, normally you're gonna see this in a Latin style of cooking where it is usually diced up. It's been boiled for many hours. We do the same thing. We boil the tongue for three to four hours till it's tender. You take it out of the broth and what you're gonna do is you're gonna peel this outer membrane. Initially, it's the taste buds. And you peel this layer off because it's fairly tough. Um, so what we're gonna do, I'm gonna slide our tongue over a little bit. And you're just peeling this outer layer off. This leaves you the nice tender tongue underneath, which you can slice thin and use for as the deli meat. Um, or you can dice it up and fry it for tacos. You can bread it. Uh, there's many applications to utilize this product. What I like to do is shave it thin, deli meat style, and make sandwiches with it. But again, you want to get all this outer layer of skin off, this membrane, these taste buds. Uh, they're not as flavorful as you think. But that's going to leave you with an end piece here. Uh, what we like to do at Chop Shop after we've got it to this point is we smoke it and then we shave it really thin and put it on sandwiches. Um, this is a very approachable and common piece of meat you can find at most butcher shops. Uh, and again, like I said, you boil the tongues, some mirepoix, water, salt, herbs, spices, whatever you like as far as flavor profile for two to three hours at a low simmer until you can kind of put a knife into it like a potato and it's tender. Uh, once that is, once you've reached that temperature, pull it out and just put it on a sheet tray and let it rest till it's cool enough to handle. And then you peel this outer layer of skin off. Uh, from there, we're gonna go into beef heart. Um, beef heart is something that we use a lot at the shop. Uh, we tend to grind it. Uh, you can butterfly it, fry it. Uh, do a tartare with it. It's, it's very versatile. It's high in iron. Um, it's really good for you. What we're going to do now is we're going to trim off this bottom fat that's initially the top of the heart. Um, we're going to trim this off because we're not going to use it for anything. You want to get all that off around the edge. We're going to set that aside. Now what you're going to do is you're going to open this up to expose all your little arteries. Okay. So once you've got the heart opened up, you can for just for simplicity and uh, to make it not as overwhelming, I separated it into three pieces. This way, when I go to clean it, it's much easier. And initially you're going to remove all of this this is a little bit of artery and these are some veins you're going to just kind of butterfly this out if you take a little excess off that's okay and you're going to get it to this point here which you've now opened the heart up this is nice clean meat again you can butterfly it again and you can pound it to do almost like a chicken fried steak application you can cut it into strips um, you can dice it up and saute it or braise it. Any of these things, because once you've got to this point, it's pretty tender. Um, I like to saute it in a really hot pan really fast. You are still going for medium rare, just like you would in a steak. Remove all these arteries out. Again, you're going to get down here and you're just wanting to clean up where the little veins and valves are. Um, this is something that's really, really good for you. High in iron, similar to liver. 
Uh, we, do a, we do an in-house grind at Chop Shop where we're doing 60% beef heart, 40% brisket, uh, which gives our burgers, when we do run them as a feature, um, a very amazing beef flavor. Um, it's incomparable to anything, really. So once again, you're going to come in here. You're just taking that top layer off where you see those veins and opening it up so you get nice clean steaks. You see again, here's some more artery and vein. You just want to take that out until you get down to these nice clean pieces of meat. So then here you've got your heart steak and you pound this a little bit and like I said a quick little saute um, pairs with onions, apples, any kind of fruit um, balances really well with the irony factor uh, but this is going to taste just like a steak and uh, yeah super fun, different and you just um, yeah you get your heart, you butter it up, you grind it and there you go. Next, we're going to talk about liver. Uh, very old, um, old piece of meat. It's not utilized nearly as much as it used to be. This is seen a lot more in charcuterie uh, with making pâtés or the old school liver and onions like grandma used to make. Um, with the beef liver, I find that uh, you don't have to clean out as much of the veins as, as you normally would, but again, you're gonna wanna remove some of this outer skin. Just set that aside. And you've got these nice big lobes. So as we open these up, and just kind of remove some of this outside tissue, you see we get the pockets in there. You're just gonna remove that stuff. Um, don't worry too much about trying to trim it up and be fine. Um, so again, what we're gonna do now that we have the liver to this point, if you're gonna do a little caramelization, a little quick fry, you're gonna to wanna to slice these into strips that are fairly big um, and also fairly thin. One thing about liver is you wanna cook it fast and hot. Uh, if you cook it too long, the texture become, becomes slightly unpleasant. Um, we just sauteed some with onions and strawberries and it was delightful. So. Again, you're going to want to slice it down into little pieces like this. From here, uh, you can salt it. You can soak it in buttermilk to help pull some of the blood out. Uh, it also helps with tenderizing the, the liver. And then you'll just do a lightly bread, flash fry it, or saute it. Um, you know, we're, we wanted to present this class to really show people that the awful meat, the organ meat, which is really good for you, um, is a little more approachable than people think. I think a lot of people are scared to deal with this stuff because they just don't know where to go with it. I mean, you're getting a liver that's pretty large in size. How do I process this? What do I do to make this delicious? Um, it is delicious just like everything else if it's treated properly. So again, you can also, if you want, I mean, old school, you can puree this and do blood sausage with it. You could do pudding with it. Um, I don't necessarily use beef liver for pate, uh, but we would blend it up and kind of make a farce application, which is kind of a puree of liver, and that would be the liver addition to our pate. Um, classically, you're just gonna slice it thin like we have and saute it, lightly breaded, really hot, really fast, um, and go from there. But experiment at home and have fun.